On April 18th, 2024, Meta released Llama 3, and it quickly gained the ranks of the best open source model yet, even surpassing GPT 3.5 and Claude 3 Sonnet. Everyone on the internet was impressed by its abilities, but is it really so good? Is it really comparable to GPT 4, the best and unbeatable closed source model yet? In today's video, we will put Llama 3 head to head with GPT-4 in these four categories by asking same questions and try to figure out is Llama 3 really comparable to GPT-4 or even better than GPT-4 in some cases. Let's get started. Number 1 Logical Reasoning Capabilities First up, we'll ask two logical reasoning questions from both of them. The question won't be easy because this is the battle for the first place. So let's begin. Our first question will be based on logical sequence completion. Question 1. Look at this series. 80, 10, 70, 15, 60. What number should come next? The answer to this is 20. And to be honest, this is a somewhat tricky sequence for LLMs. To prove this point, let's ask this question to the older models first to see if they are able to solve it. Let's start with Mixtral A. X7B, which was the best open source model before Llama 3. Its answer is 18, which is quiet close to the correct answer, but the reasoning here is completely off. It didn't even read the series properly, as it's saying the fourth term is 21, which actually 15. Let's try it with Mixtral 8 xs 22 b which was released a couple of weeks before Llama 3. It's a newer and more powerful version of Mixtral 8 X7B. What? That's disappointing. I expected it to do better than 8x7b, not worse. It didn't read even one number in the series and just made up shit. Needless to say, the answer is completely wrong, and it too failed our test. Let's try Claude Haiku. first model to read the series accurately, but fails in figuring out the correct sequence, it couldn't figure out the pattern. Now let's try Llama 3. Whoa, it gets the correct answer. It also gives the correct reasoning behind the pattern, which is impressive. The reasoning it provides is slightly complicated, but nevertheless, it's right. It proves that this model is definitely something. It's actually good at figuring out the patterns and reasoning, which is a sign of intelligence. Let's ask the same question to GPT-4. I am sure it will answer it correctly. And it does. Wow. And its reasoning is completely different from that of Llama 3. It's even simpler. GPT-4 sees a much simpler pattern than Llama 3, where there are two subsequences alternatively, one decreasing by 10 starting from 80 and other increasing by 5 starting from 10. So yeah, even though both Llama 3 and GPT-4 answered this correctly, being an open source model, Llama 3 has impressed me more, whereas none of the previous models could answer this question. Let's move on to the next round, which is creative writing. Task number two, creative writing. Now we'll test creative writing of Llama 3 and GPT-4. There will be two rounds in this test. In first round, I'll ask them to write a poem, and in second round, an email. Then we'll judge which model did a better job as a creative writer. So let's ask Llama 3 to write a poem on secret life of inanimate objects. And here we go. In twilight's hush, when humans sleep, the inanimate world begins to creep. From shadows dark, they emerge anew and live their secret lives, both old and true. It's a pretty good one, I'd say. In the next lines, it talks about the life of chair, the clock, the book, the key, the mirror, and the door. It goes and talks about the secret lives of all these objects one by one, like this one. The door, a portal to the unknown night, creaks open, a slow, deliberate delight. It leads to worlds, both old and new, and secrets hidden from the human view. Wow, it's actually a great poem, almost like a poet wrote it. Let's try the same task with GPT-4, then we'll see which wrote better. 
In places mundane, through whispered gloss, beneath the static grid of conversation lost, there lies a realm, meek yet indistinct, the bustling underworld where objects think. Okay, this is awesome. It too talks about inanimate objects like the teapot, spectacles, chairs, forks, one by one. Damn, looks like I didn't increase max token length, which is why the poem ends abruptly. Nevertheless, it's a solid poem. I think both Llama 3 and GPT-4 did a pretty solid job of writing totally new and original poems, almost like a poet would write. Judging these poems is not something I can do, because it's subjective. But I didn't find any flaws, so they both did the job pretty well for me. Equal marks to both. Which poem do you think is better? Tell me down in the comments. While you're at it, hit that subscribe button and like this video for more such comparison videos in the future. Now let's move on to the next round writing an email. We'll again start with Llama 3. I'll make them write an email which we all dream about. Write the funniest resignation email to my toxic boss. Here we go. It's with great pleasure and healthy dose of sanity, ha 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 ha, that I submit my resignation. The constant stress, anxiety, and occasional hair loss have finally taken a toll for me. Damn, it's so real that it hurts. I'm trading my daily dose of frustration for a life of tranquility or at least a job where I don't don't have to question my life choices every morning. In the next paragraph, it trolls the boss. I want to thank you for the opportunity to work with someone as, erm, um, challenging as yourself. Weekly motivational meetings that left me feeling like I needed a nap. It's really funny. Good job, Llama 3. Now let's try GPT-4. I hope this email finds you as well as it leaves me. It's time to discuss my farewell tour from Dysfunction Junction. After years filled with later hours, bless that over time, were it only real. Exclusive performances of traditional coffee-making ballets and ad wielding patients Thor would envy during our spirited team meetings. I've decided to embrace change. Yes, change. That cute word you love using instead of increase in pay. Okay, so overall, I'm not enjoying reading this email as much as I enjoyed the llama three male. It's okay, but it sis till using somewhat formal tone, whereas I asked it specifically to write the funniest email. So Llama 3 did a better job here for me. Which one did you like more? Please tell me down in the comments. Now let's move on to the next task, which is summarization. Task number three, summarization. Summarization skills are important because sometimes we all need the TLDR version, right? In our test, we'll ask them to summarize the essay, Love by Emerson. First and foremost, we'll start with a junior programmer's favorite job. Let's copy, paste, and enter. The essay explores the concept of love and its transformative power on individuals. Emerson argues that love is not just a fleeting emotion, but a fundamental aspect of human nature that has the ability to revolutionize one's life. He believes that love is not limited to the young, but is a passion that can be experienced at any age, and that it has the power to unite people, enhance their senses, and add heroic and sacred attributes to their characters. So it has summarized the essay pretty well. Let's try this with GPT-4. Ralph Waldo Emerson's essay, Love, from his 1841 collection, Essays First Series, delves, oh, chat GPT, not again, delves deeply into the philosophical and transcendental aspects of love. Emerson portrays love as a profound universal force, suggesting that it begins as a private, intense connection between individuals and eventually expands to embrace the universal human experience. It reads very AI-like, whereas Llama 3's summary feels like it was written by a human and is much easier to read than the GPT-4 summary. But that's just what I think. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. So for me, Llama 3 wins this one. Let's move on to the final task for this video, which is coding. Task number four, coding. In this task, I'll ask both the models to write code to create a full-fledged calculator in React with CSS styles. Just like previous tasks, we'll start this one with Llama 3. Okay, write code to create a full-fledged calculator app in React. Use CSS to style. Open Stack Blitz. Open React Boilerplate. Copy the code. Making slight adjustments. Let's 
copy CSS. And here we go. Damn, it looks ugly as beep. Let try using it and it breaks. It doesn't work. I can fix the bug and make it work, but that's not what the video is about. So Llama 3 fails at this task miserably. Now it's GPT-4's turn to show how it's done. Wow, that rhymed. Write code to create a full-fledged calculator app in React. Use CSS to style good. Okay, we have the code. Now let's copy paste. It's creating different file for calculator component. Okay, let me make some adjustments real quick to run the generated code. And here we go. It looks prettier than what Llama 3 gave up, but does it work? Let's try. It doesn't break on the press of a button, which is a good news. It works, woohoo. So GPT-4 is a clear winner in this task. Let me test this calculator. Okay, so there are a few bugs, like it's showing two signs in one operation, but they're easily fixable. Overall, I am really impressed by this. Llama 3 failed this task, but it's understandable because it's much, much smaller model than GPT-4, and it's not optimized for coding, and it's totally free and open source, whereas GPT-4 is not. And I'm pretty sure that Code Llama 3 can do this task just like GPT-4. So who wins? Let's see the results. Logical reasoning, GPT-4. Creative Writing, Llama 3 Summarization, Llama 3 Coding, GPT-4, it's a tie. But if you really ask me, an open source model coming so close to the best closed source model, which is also much bigger in terms of parameters and expensive to use, is really is a great news. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. So that's all for today. If you want a part two of this video in which we compare more skills such as maths and real word problems, please like this video and comment down below the prompts that you want to be included in the next video. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video for more such videos. Thanks for watching.